my beautiful capricorns welcome to your weekly reading weekly energies third week in august sun moon rising signs and venus this week we have a new moon in leo's as you know leo it's all about fiery action energy and at the same time you know the king of the jungle but also whatever here you are passionate about, whatever here you wanna do or go ahead, now is the time. Manifest big loves, new moons are great to manifest, to start new things. So whatever you have in your mind, go ahead. But in the meantime, let's see what we got for your week. And of course, how these energies are manifesting there for you. We have pre raphaelite Tarot. It's a new deck, but it seems here like a new for a couple years, as I never use it here on the channel. But here we are. Hermit Energy. Queen of Swords. Two of Pentacles. Ten of Wands. King of Pentacles and three of cups okay there seems here for some of you 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 might be in some kind of situation of a third party because i don't see talk i feel here someone want to talk but they are not they contemplating should i or should i not for some of you, it's kind of anyway, this will end at one point or will end at some point. It's more likely whoever is this person could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, could be a Virgo or might be the Virgo time when they will contact you again or it's the most possibility. For some of you, there is a meeting here that someone here still thinking when is that gonna happen or will that gonna happen or not somebody here said like well i'll see you later or i'll see you and you're just thinking like when this is gonna happen we have a five of wands here for some of you could have a disagreement here with this person or there's some disagreements with someone that happened or did happen at one point let's see five of swords yeah, somebody here is just kind of was only my way or no way here. King of Swords. Okay, so now I know. Five of Pentacles. The Devil. Yeah, I feel here the energy and the Two of Cups. So we do have here the Queen and the King of Swords. So definitely I sense very strong third party for you, love. This The Queen and the King of Swords is a very cold energy. Even though it comes as a couple many times, this is very cold energy. And somebody here might stay with someone because of the finances. Even though they know they need to move on because it's a narcissistic. This is a very, you know... You know, so some people said, I love you, I cannot live without you, but at the same time, pour you poison in your drink. So kind of like this kind of a thing, which metaphorically speaking, okay? But yeah, we do have this three, five. Five of cups is the only one missing. A lot of things here happened, past related. But yeah, somebody here has someone new. And for some of you, this new energy or this person, they love you or care about you or really seeing you, it's really important. Let's see, what's the, um, the devil energy? Very earthy energy here. And yes, devil, it's your card, but we have the Virgo and we have the devil as major arcanas. Let's see, what's the devil here for? Strength. This is a karmic energy, loves. For some of you, you are dealing here with someone who is in a karmic cycle with someone. 
but I feel here they can overcome this. Look at this Ace of Pentacles, the strength and this Ace of Pentacles. Look how beautiful these are. So somebody here will overcome. For some of you, it's you loving someone, but with this Five of Swords and we have the Knight of Swords, definitely air energy here. I, I'm hearing Gemini. For some of you, might deal here with a Gemini. Mercury, it's present. Could be a Virgo as well because Virgo also is ruled by planet Mercury. Or could be in Mercury retrograde. Five of Swords clarifier, we have the High Priestess. Like you know what is going on. And you don't want to be part of someone's fight. Like it's if somebody here, like you could be at one point involved in, but you don't want to be in, be involved any longer because you know it's for no good. And we have see here the high priestess and the um, the temperance card. Both energy speaks about you. You know who you are, and you know what you really deserve. And also, most likely, staying away or staying in your side, it's much better for the situation than being in. The Five of Pentacles, clarified by the lovers. Yes, this is the Gemini energy again. So, somebody here needs to make a choice. Page of Pentacles. And the world for some of you this person could be choosing between you and their person what's the two of cups here for four of pentacles like they've been hesitant so why this is showing up for you if this person still hesitant why Page of Cups. I feel here there is a very strong lesson for you that uh, an apology with no actions, it's still an apology. Fool. Yes, somebody here could try to fool themselves, not necessarily you. Nine of Wands, but doing the same thing. So somebody here, it's kind of staying in a situation, but yeah. But it gives you more ability to move forward and put this behind. What's next for Capricorn? We have the Knight of Wands. Enjoy your freedom. I feel here it's a single Capricorn here. And the Knight of Wands speaks of enjoy your life. Enjoy your life to the fullest. Do the things you always wanted to do. And don't feel that I need to stay and wait for someone. Or maybe, maybe this person will make up their mind. I feel here ultimately you will. Eight of Wands. There's also here Eight of Cups. Look at this Eights here. The only eight from the eights is eight of pentacles missing. There's something here like put value, put effort into your own life and not in someone else's life. If you want great results. So work on you more than anyone else out there. And... Yeah, look at this sun, beautiful sun. Move into the new energy. Because I definitely see here, you will. You will move away from this third party. Even though you feel it's hard, the emperor, you will take the leap. Absolutely. Even though this person will still look for you. But look at here. Page of Swords. 
magician and the knight of pentacles going very much different directions so this really speaks of this person were coming into your life just to deliver a lesson or to deliver a message and that message is very much enjoy your life do you don't wait for anyone and you can do everything you want to with your life when others can't i don't know what that feels to okay but let's see from the cards advice for you tower we have the queen of cups we have the seven of cups and we have the hierophant for um, for many of you Capricorns, we have death energy. There is a change coming in into your life. And the way it comes, yeah, like you you might not be quite sure is this person good or not. For some of you definitely there's there is a new beginning but very different. Or there is a person coming into your life very different. Could be a Scorpio with the water energy here could be Taurus energy but I feel here like when this person comes you'll be very confused but very shortly after this person will show you what they truly want and also they will show you who you truly are or your values the support the energy you always were longing into the someone else it's coming through this person and definitely here this is a life-changing event and basically what I'm seeing here whoever you were dealing here they were actually pushing you to the right person okay to the right person Capricorn one advice for you from the oracles crossing bridges it's time for healing, connecting, mending, and releasing. Yes, I feel here, yeah, you are my feeling into a place in your life that you are not really knowing where you're going or what you're doing, but you are exactly where you need to be because the universe puts you in a place where you are belong and things will start moving from this point to the best, to the right way. So trust, darlings, trust. And of course, if you really enjoy this reading, let us know your feedback. And have a lovely week ahead. Till the next time. Namaste.